Many years ago, more than 46 actually, my husband uh, was working in quality control and I was working in Boston customer service and we'd met a couple and one of them was involved with the ambulance service. He was a registered gemologist, but his family owned Bay State Ambulance at the time. And one night we went to visit them because her husband ended up buying a small ambulance service out in Lexington. We went, when we went to visit, he got a call and my husband, he says to my husband, you jump on the ambulance, you drive and I'll get in the back with the patient. Well, my husband fell in love that night. I don't know if it was the woo-woo or what it was, but he decided right then and there, he wanted to get into the business. So he became an EMT. We happened to be at Riverside Park. It was in August, the beginning of August of 1977. There was a one-line ad in the Boston Globe, ambulance service for sale. We owned it the next day. We started with two ambulances, three people, basically, and on the way we went. At that point, the state told us we had to select one name. So we, instead of using the name Somerville, we used the name, that's how the name Cataldo Ambulance got, was born. And if anybody looks at it, they can't believe how the company grew. Within three to four weeks after we started with the ambulance service, we needed wheelchair vans. We had a little Toyota, 1974 Toyota. We sold it, got the money, and we were able to buy a used van which we ended up using for wheelchair van services. That was on the rise at that time. We branched out from Somerville. We went to Everett, went to Winthrop. We bought, we bought out an ambulance service in Winthrop in 1984. Um, and we've bought several companies in between. One, our biggest acquisition was when we, um, it became the biggest acquisition is when we bought out Atlantic Ambulance. Dennis was very instrumental in that. Um, and that has turned into a, a substantial part of our company today. When we first started, it was only basic life support. Um, prior to the ambulance regulations being developed, people would just take a person, if they got a call and they put it in the back of a station wagon and delivered the patient to the hospital, they really did no medical treatment at all. Once the regulations started and basic life support started, that's when we got into it. And. Um, then after being in business, I, I'm not ex exactly sure how many years, that's when paramedics came along. My husband was very instrumental in dealing with that, remember with, with Lynn Hospital and yep. the doctors over yep. in Lynn. And so we became really the primary company for putting in paramedics in the emergency services. Um, we were really in the forefront on that one. Well, you know, there's, there's several things. I mean, one, uh, like Diane talked about with the paramedics, Two, when you go out there to our dispatch center. Three, with innovation, uh, home health care. Uh, and it's just it's just continued to, to jump and grow. EMS is a lot different than it was X amount of years ago. I think because of us always wanting to make sure, we always tell that every employee, you treat every single patient as if it was your mother that you're treating, our family member. And I think because of that, it's become that level of excellence. And I think um, our employees know that what, what we want to do and how we want to maintain it. I would say we don't always want to be the biggest. We want to be the best. And we want to, we always strive, and Dennis was a big supporter of this, of clinical excellence and patient care. And we're still that way to stay. I can't tell you how proud I am of this company and how big it got. We've never, to this day, ever shut down one day. Not one day, not one hour, not anything. We've been, ever since 1977, we have run. And it's not a business that at five o'clock at night, you can shut your door, go home. You can't, it's all night long. It, go, it goes constantly. This is like a baby that was brought up, a child. It's like, you get so, attached to the whole thing it's it's a mere i really believe it's a miracle that we are this got as big as we are but once you get here you've got to maintain it we had a goal of being the best i like to think to this day although it get, becomes difficult at times to maintain those standards but i think we've accomplished everything and i believe a lot more than we ever ever thought i never thought we would be to this size 
I mean, we employ a lot of people.